Dave with Taboo Customs. This video today, we're going to be talking about what might be causing your uh, automatic transmission equipped Jeep TJ to not want to downshift properly when you put your foot on the pedal. So let's take a look. All right, so we're here at the throttle body of this Jeep 4.0, and this is a specifically a 98 TJ. And we'll talk a little bit. So like I mentioned, the symptom is you know, you're trying to go up a hill or just trying to you know, get your Jeep to downshift by pressing on the accelerator, and it's not downshifting. This Jeep specifically, when it pulled out on the highway, has a hill to immediately go up, and really the owner could only go 45 mile an hour up that hill because the Jeep was never downshifting, and you know the speed limit on a highway out there is 65, so that's something that really pointed out that, hey, there might be an issue. So what we have here is at the throttle body, we've got three different cables. This here is the throttle cable. It's connected to the throttle pedal. This you may or may not have. This is a cruise control. It runs around to the driver's side fender for the uh, system that cr controls the cruise. This is a kick down cable that runs to the automatic transmission. As you can see, this cable is not hooked up. What happens is as the throttle is pulled, this cable will come out. So it knows when you are uh, really pressing down on the throttle, basically trying to accelerate so that it can adjust. Now, fortunately, we didn't get on video the original connector that was on here, uh, but what basically happened, and here, here's parts of it, essentially the connector has a, an end on it, like this, that snaps around this pin. This little horseshoe piece basically broke off the connector so that the connector was just hanging out here in space. Now this connector is, um, you know, assembled onto this before this whole cable is assembled. So the issue is you can't just easily replace this connector with something uh, for stock. You have to replace the whole cable, which can be expensive and more involved than you may want to get into. However, there is, a, there is a fix, and it's something that uh, we currently are making, and that is basically just this little piece here. Now, to go and fix this, what you will need to do first is take this original connector that was in the cable like this and essentially just take some large pliers and crush it. I mean, you can see here how we've kind of crushed it. Now, be careful, you don't want to cut the cable, you don't want to damage the cable in any way, but you should be able to crush this and break it up into pieces. Uh, maybe use two pliers to kind of pull it apart until you can uh, get enough of it apart to where you get the cable cleaned up just like this. Now, installation of the new piece is pretty simple, really. Um, as you can see, there's a hole here that the little end will fit down into and then you'll have the slot that you'll have to put the cable now what we're going to want to do and it is a bit tight and there's a reason we don't want it a bit tight because we don't want it to come off so first we'll want to insert the end down into the cable you'll need a small screwdriver because you do have to push this cable down through the slot now be careful you don't want to like separate the cable you're just wanting to push the cable down through there Once you get it lined up, just start slowly working the cable down in there. Now, make sure you have a screwdriver and then once you're done you're going to want to make sure if you're on there right this should actually slide back and forth uh, i probably can't see it but the piece is sliding because that the the end piece actually slides up into a cavity in here uh, if you're trying to check and see if you're right if you pull it out you can see that this pin pretty much lines up with the bottom of this slot here where our next step now is that we'll take, pull it out a little bit, then 
push up on it and it should snap into place. Make sure it uh, can move. And then you can cycle the throttle a few times. And you see now we're now pulling back on our kick down cable. So the transmission should shift correctly again. Now you did not need to remove the uh, hose here for the throttle body to the air box. Uh, we just did that because I'm trying to show it more clearly. So a simple little video today. Those uh, ends are now available on taboocustoms.com. So if you're interested in purchasing one of those, visit taboocustoms.com. You'll find them there. Uh, you can also contact us on our website uh, or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram if you do have a question. So thanks for watching. And as always, a like or subscribe is greatly appreciated and helps out small businesses.